Do we really need another tinted moisturizer? Was it so special about this new one from Max Factor? Or is it this worth your money? Here are some of the questions that I'm going to provide you answers in today's video. If you're going to stick around and join me in this journey. Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have tried yet another tinted serum because I just can't stand and wait when a new product is launched, especially if it's coming from one of my all-time favorite brands. But I have my European viewers that have reached out to me and I got questions if I have tried this foundation. So I was even more excited that I could purchase this during Rosman annual sale. So I purchased it with 50% discount. This product retails for, I would say, I haven't checked the price in uh, euros, but he retails for around 15, 16 US dollars if I convert the money. I have worn this product from last week until now. So this is the sixth day when I'm wearing it. This is the Max Factor Miracle Pure Skin Reset 2-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I match myself with the shade 3040, which is fair to light. The packaging is the standard packaging that you have seen around on all tinted serums that have been on the market, especially from the drugstore. Look, the one from L'Oreal, the one with hyaluronic acid, then we have the one from Essence or the one from Maybelline. So it looks like it's a standard approach when we are talking about tinted moisturizer. Now, what is so special about this? Let me first guide you through the description of the product and then I'm going to guide you through the application and I will wrap up my thoughts at the end of the video. Ready, set, go! With Max Factor Miracle Pure 2-in-1 Skin Reset, a 2-in-1 serum combined with foundation to provide natural instant perfecting coverage and a more even skin tone. Powered by a reset complex of 2% niacinamide and bisabolol. Now I went and checked what it means this and it looks like bisabolol, if I'm not butchering this name, it's a um, oil, a natural oil that is derived from German chamomile and has some other ingredient to it. But I know that chamomile is very good and very, very beneficial for your skin. It has anti-inflammatory properties and other good things that will help to give you more clear and more luminous skin tone, no comedogenic or so. This Max Factor foundation is clinically and dermatologically tested. Experience a healthy looking skin with medium natural coverage and satin matte finish that is available in nine shades. Unfortunately, this is one of the downsides of the Max Factor products that they are not so inclusive. But being the fact that this is a skin tint, it's not that problematic because shades are forgiving and this is suitable for sensitive skin. Among the benefits, we number the more even skin tone, natural instant perfecting coverage for healthy looking skin and it has a satin matte finish. Now, if I'm going to the ingredients, it was really interesting because I didn't read that before. So the first ingredient is aqua or water. Then we have the decapril carbonate isotecane 2, 3, butandiol, glycerin and other ingredients. But I haven't seen any dimeticon type of product that we know that it's usually put on the foundations to smooth and even out the overall coverage. Then what is revolutionary about this foundation and I haven't met until now in other products is this Bisa, Bisa Bolol oil. This is the first day of testing, but prior applying the foundation, I have used to one side of the face my e.l.f. liquid poreless potty primer and I skipped the primer application on the left side of the face. I'm using this on the right side because here it's where I have the more texture on my skin due to acne scar that I had in my teenage. And I have applied it with the BK Beauty brush 107. Now I want to say from the beginning that for this type of product, because it has a very liquid consistency, not a very, but it has a runny consistency, brush application is a must. You can go over if you want with a sponge and even out the coverage, even though it is not needed. But if you don't want to do it, 
you can skip and just apply with the brush. And as you can tell, the coverage with and without, I get a light to medium coverage. The claim of the tinted serum, it is true. You can see the difference. It looks absolutely beautiful. My skin screams of healthiness. I'm loving it. I know that most of you and most of us don't like this type of packaging, but I want to say that among all those tinted serum, serums that I showed you before, I find this being less messy. Maybe this is possible because the size of the bottle or the opening of the bottle is larger. So that means that the pipette has enough space to go inside. So nothing goes all over and can leak and spill. But coming back to the application, as you can see, the difference between applying with the primer and without the blurring primer, it's almost not noticeable. And as I said, I'm shocked reading now that there is no silicone in the list of the ingredients or at least on the first ingredient. So if it has, if it has some silicone, it's for sure just a slight amount. And you can get this amazing natural coverage only with good, great ingredients. But on the first day of testing, what I did, I haven't set it with a setting powder. I have just used a liquid blush and bronzer and that was all. Because what happens with this foundation is that you can see also on the transfer test, I have taken a tissue and I have done the transfer test to see it's just a small transfer to the tissue. And this was without applying a setting powder. And after eight hours of wear, you could see that my skin looked glowy, but it didn't look greasy. I'm oily combination. I'm in my 45 plus and I need from a foundation to stay put all day on me. Don't exaggerate my fine lines and don't make me look older than I am. And when I find this kind of attributes on a foundation, I'm all about it. First day of testing was a real success. Today, I applied it like I normally apply my foundation. But what I did different, I have used the Easy Blur Primer by Huda Beauty. I just wanted to give another try to this primer. I don't have anything against this primer, just I told you that it's not working with the Huda Beauty Primer, with the Huda Beauty Foundation. And then I have applied it again to my face. But on my right side of the face, I wanted to give it the test of hand and I blend everything with hand. So you can tell that this is also good to apply it with a brush or with your hand. And it looks absolutely flawless when I'm blending it with my hand. I was very, very shocked to see that because not many foundation can do that. And especially my hands are quite cold right now. Even though it's not cold in the room, I have cold hands. What? coverage with and without tinted moisturizer. It looks definitely beautiful. And then I've applied the other half of the face using the BK Beauty 106 brush. I have used both 106 and 101 and I can tell that this has a better constitution to say so for blending this kind of liquid foundation. But you can also go with 101. To set my face I have used the regular powder that I use when I'm usually testing the foundation, the Catrice Invisible Loose Powder. And this is the final look. I have now four hours since I've applied this new Miracle Pure Skin Reset 2-in-1 Serum Foundation from X Factor. And I could not ask for a better base than having this one on my face. When I'm wearing this, people <laughs> stop on the street. I'm exaggerating, but I will stop on the street and ask me what I'm wearing on my face. If you ask me, do you need another tinted serum or serum foundation or tinted moisturizer? We always seek for the improvement. The technology evolves and I'm all about that. I'm uh, all about finding the best product for my skin, the best foundation that will satisfy and fulfill my skin needs and my own expectations. And I can say that for sure I have found that on the new 
tinted serum from Max Factor. Also doesn't have SPF, so if you want to protect your face with uh, SPF, then you have to apply that prior. And one other thing that I love about this serum foundation is that I can wear it even on my oily skin and I'm not needed to set it with a setting powder because it is self-setting. I forgot to mention is that if you are sensitive to the fragrance, this has a fragrance to it. It's not very powerful, but it's a, a fragrance that is noticeable in all Max Factor products or Max Factor based products. But yeah, other than that, the shade is really matching my complexion. So if you are around my skin tone, you are going to love it. A downside is the fact that it doesn't have so many shades and also that is not broadly available. But I know that Max Factor is now available on eBay or on Amazon. I'm not sure exactly which one or if it is on both. So for sure, if you are in interested to purchase this I will highly recommend you and about uh, if this worth your money I've seen worse foundation for a triple of price like this one. Do I recommend the Miracle Pure Skin Reset Serum Foundation from Max Factor? Yes, I 100% recommend it and it's Julia's B Beauty approved. Now I'm going to insert a footage that I'm going to take it by the end of the day just to show you what this complexion looks when I have used a primer on all over the face and also the setting powder but I don't expect much changes on the appearance of my skin. I'm sure that it will look wonderful because so it did when I just wear it alone without setting powder. Now it's your turn to let me know if you have tried this new one from Max Factor and if you did so please let me know if you enjoy it and what are your thoughts about it and other than that I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'm going to see you really soon with another video. Bye!